Hi there, I'm Dr. Siddharth Sani. I'm a senior consultant breast surgeon at Indraprast Apollo Hospital in Delhi. I'm going to share a few thoughts on breast cancer prevention with you. Breast cancer is a disease where there is no single known cause. So unlike tobacco and lung cancer, prevention of multi-partner sex and cervical cancer, you can't just stop one thing and not have breast cancer. There is a genetic defect, so we look for one very actively and it makes a lot more press and a lot more news because of the lack of age. But if you look at the overall number of patients presenting in this age group, uh, it isn't by absolute number that many. Uh, I'm sure that there are uh, uh, at least half of these who don't have uh, genetic birth defects but who are lovers of fast food, don't exercise and are very often medically I'm not talking about looks-wise, but medically obese. The mammogram needs to be done from the age of 40 onwards, till uh, such time as a patient can physically and or financially afford to get to a center where, which is doing mammography. If there is a strong family history, then we can counsel the patient and start on a breast MRI even as low as 30 years of age. So, however, uh, there have been some very interesting recent findings that have indicated that breast cancer could be prevented if certain lifestyle changes were made amongst women. But uh, let's first get at what you can do because this is one of the few cancers which can be cured if picked up early. And by cured I mean now that the disease-free survival rate at 25 to 30 years from detection is over 90 percent which is probably better than your chances of having an automobile accident in especially the NCR region of Delhi. So the first thing to do is monthly self-breast awareness, which is every month uh, you, when you're in the shower or having a bath, please make sure that you know what your breast feels like once a month, generally around the 10th day of the cycle. And this way you'll be able to pick up any abnormality should it arise. The second is a yearly mammogram and a breast ultrasound. Uh, it's only done once in two years in countries where the government is paying the bill for mammography. And it is generally recommended that once a year is absolutely safe from the point of view of radiation. All the old data done uh, by the American College of Radiologists was on the old machines which were not digital but analog machines where a lot more compression and radiation had to be given to get the picture. Today you have digital machines which impart at least 25 to 40 percent less radiation and now we know that the thyroid is to be protected so almost every center gives a thyroid guard hence there's no uh, deleterious effects of radiation when you're getting a mammogram done. It's one of the few things that can actually save a life. Uh, besides this, if you feel any change even in between mammograms, please go to your doctor immediately. These are all imperatives because breast cancer is rising at a very fast pace in India. It used to be till a decade ago 1 in 32 women. It is now 1 in 11 and expected to be uh, affecting one in nine by 2025, which is about 11 to 12 percent of the Indian population. Females are about 495 million, so if you can just have to do your maths to know that's a very high number indeed. In terms of prevention, what are the preventive measures you can take? The three things that have come to light are number one, avoidance of obesity through a combination of diet and exercise. Exercise is not just a morning walk, but is uh, at least three days of something intensive, cardio intensive, and in that even uh, a high intensity yog counts. So if you're doing Ashtang yog, uh, that's as good as doing aerobics in a gym. And two days of light weights. Uh, the whole point is to avoid fat distribution around the center of the abdomen, the fabled tire, uh, and this is not just for looks, but it actually prevents disease by uh, prevent uh, by promoting. Uh, so, if you don't have fat, uh, there is no insulin resistance in the body, and insulin just doesn't deal with the sugar in the blood, but it also then promotes a lot of growth of protein, uh, which leads to uh, 
repair of damaged DNA cells and it leads to the cessation of the inflammatory cascade. So it's not just protective against uh, cancer but also against heart disease. Uh, a flat abdomen always looks nice so that's, that's probably the carrot at the end of the stick. But the bigger carrot is actually prevention of uh, almost all forms of disease. In terms of diet, uh, we now know from um, emerging studies that the two most dangerous chemicals in the world to eat are vegetable oils or anything cooked in vegetable oils and that uh, includes canola, canola oil, sunflower oil, safflower oil, soybean oil, rice brine oil. These are very dangerous because they can quickly turn a healthy body into a very healthy, unhealthy one. And of course the second is white sugar and products containing white sugar. Uh, sugar substitutes such as uh, jaggery or gourd, uh, honey or anything natural, all fruits are absolutely fine. So by <coughs> changing certain dietary, <coughs> excuse me, certain dietary habits and avoiding sugar, vegetable oils and um, by avoiding vegetable oils one also then goes completely away from the entire market of uh, um, fast foods because almost all fast foods are made through uh, vegetable oil and vegetable oil products. So that itself would lend to a better lifestyle. Uh, by doing this and by doing what I would said earlier, you can, if you don't need, you can potentially prevent breast cancer and if you don't prevent it, if you are diligent about your screening, you can pick it up early and it's, uh, this, it's about as uh, bad as then having a bad uh, viral fever. Thank you.